Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode. So today I am here with another book review, Life's Amazing Secret by Gauru Gopal Das. But before that, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, hit that bell icon because I post a video every week about freelancing, marketing and all about books that you should read that will help you to guide in your life. So let's get let's start it with the review. First, let me tell you, if you are looking for success, if you are looking for to achieve goal or if you're looking if you are looking for something that will help you to achieve your goals, then this book is not for you. But on other side, if you are looking for happiness, if you are looking for satisfactory life, if you are looking for gratitude or if you wanted to make your relationships or if you wanted to make your work life little better, then this book is definitely for you because this book is written that way to help you to have best life to help you to have happiness in your life to help you to understand different perspective different relations in your life so basically this book is divided into four part your first one is personal life second one is your work life third one is your relationship and fourth one is your social contribution so consider these four like four sectors of your wheels of your car i mean consider a car they have like just they have four wheels just like that our life have these four wheels where we have a personal life we have our relationships we have our social contribution and we have our work life also so how to manage all this kind of thing how to get better in this thing so if you wanted to looking for this kind of stuff then this book is for you but let me repeat that if you are looking for goal oriented or how to achieve your goals or how this will book will make you successful then this book is not for you when i started reading this book like i finished this within within less than one week and probably less than 3 days actually so i realized that this book can help everyone whether you are a student whether you are a whether you are a working guy or whether you are something else i mean this book can help you everyone to have some greatness in their life to have gratitude in their life so let's talk about the first tier which is known as the personal life i mean as this book is divided into four sectors so first one is we talk about the personal life I mean, this will this book will help you to understand how to see your personal life why gratitude is important important in your personal life the way we see it right now and the way the author see the life is quite different and if you want to have better understanding then you have to read this book the way why gratitude is important how you can practice gratitude how you can create that gratitude in your daily routine and how that can change your life reason is we cannot control life i mean obviously we cannot we control our actions but we cannot control what happens at the end so if you want to know how you can be better in that situation then you should read this book you should uh, typically read the first first tier which is known as the personal life in the first chapter author talk about the pause button i mean whenever you have something good or bad happening with you try to pause that button i mean try to pause for a moment obviously you cannot pause in actual but imagine that you are pausing that and see the movement understand what is actually going on and how you can be better in the situation if you can do this then you can have a really good life the second tier which is known as a relationship and we like we are as a current generation we are really messed up with the relationship we have no idea that how to handle relationship how to deal with the person how to handle different type of matters or how to handle different type of situation so this author talk a lot about the relationship in this second tier i mean second topic it says that you have to respect others if you don't respect others you don't get respect whether whether you whether that's a male person female person respect everyone the otherwise your relationship will not be that grateful so respect everyone irrespective of their gender irrespective of their caste or irrespective of anything respecting other that will help you to have great relationship with other do not like do not criticize or do not like do not sh- see the downfall in others see good in everyone and be good at every situation that's why the author talk about in the relationship factor because if you don't see good in other if you always see try to, we, we see bad in other and we try to implement those or we try to speak always bad for the people in in other situation when we talk to other people so if you see the good things in other then this will really help you to have your own sense better way and you can talk to the others in a better way so always see try to see good in other and try to be good as you can the other point author talks in the relationship to be sensitive like always try to be a sensitive person because you we have no idea what other person's life like what what are the thing going on in the other person's life 
so it's important to be sensitive as much as you can try to handle the situation with sensitivity otherwise just if you keep on shouting then obviously you will screw up your relationships so if you don't want to happen that whether whatever the person needs try to be as sensitive as you can the third chapter which is third tire or third chapter which is known as the work life usually our work life start start after the 21 or 20 no and how to handle the work life is so so important because we see a lot of politics we see a lot of drama in the in the work life we tends to have depression we tends to have stress level very high and how to handle that it's very important to understand our work life and this book talk a lot about the work life how you should handle your work life how there are a lot of examples there are a lot of lecture stories in this book to have understanding that why work how to handle the work life so the main like one of the great thing i realized that the author talk about don't compare yourself to others because it's your own path and you have to grow in your own journey if you don't grow in your own journey if you try to compare then you are literally you are like positioning your positioning yourself to at some level you don't have to do that so try not to compare to everyone the second thing do not do the politics we have seen a lot of thing in the movies we have seen a lot of thing in the drama that people do politics in the work life yeah that's that's the scary part but try to avoid as much as you can because self learning is something that i even i personally believe that self learning is important self motivation is important and you have to grow by that way if you don't if you are if you are the person who do politics if you are the person who do drama in office then try to avoid that obey by this you will you will don't get the good really good work life balance so if you want to have good work life balance then you should not do the politics you should not do the drama you should not compare yourself to other so if you are in this person then please 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 read this book you will understand what is your current situation and how you can modify your situation for the better life the fourth tire which is known as the social contribution the, in this chapter author talk about a lot about the social things how you should behave in normal how you should behave in other situation and how you can contribute as a social person so he says like one of the great thing that we like ice cream and candle ice cream like for the ice cream uh, enjoy before it melts and for the candle to have to grave the brightness in other person's life i mean this is something i read and which i i felt like sharing with you that be like ice cream and be like candle be both the persons at the same time to enjoy your own life and to give the brightness in others life so i'm going to share one of the lessons i learned from this book which not exactly lessons but the quotes or the but the quotes or the highlighted points that hit me really up the first one is try to be grateful for everything you have try to be grateful for everything you get i mean by this i mean if you have gratitude you will understand this much better if you don't have then go and read the first chapter which is a personal life the second thing he says that try to be open minded person as much as you can because see what happens the close minded people tends to down other people or close minded people want to grow by hitting others and this is not work in the real life i mean this is not to have a great life be like open minded people try to understand every situation much much better way if you have open mind then you can understand each and every situation each and every drama happening around you and you can see this is in a much better way the third thing he talk about do what you love then you will never feel as a work i mean this is a from the section work life but like this is i usually i i, I personally believe that if you are doing what you love then you will never feel like working or never feel like doing something for the sake of time or sake of money so always try to follow your passion always try to do what you love by this like i have been doing this from the past two years i have been doing everything whatever i love whether whether other person i agree or agree it or not it because i know my life i i have discovered my path another thing he talk about that never worry about tomorrow like as a generation or as a, as the latest like latest parents we try to worry about everything we try to worry about very small thing we try to worry about very big thing whether it's a family problem financial problem we try to worry for every little thing so never try to worry about tomorrow because when you worry about tomorrow you like it snaps the today's joy and if you if you want to today if you want to have a today's joy then never worry about tomorrow in today's situation obviously we cannot control tomorrow we can we can just control our actions so better why not to worry about tomorrow why to like why not why worry about tomorrow and uh, snaps the today's joy just enjoy the moment have a great life 
be respectful for the other people so talking about this book this book is a like really short this book is the pace is very medium and this book is filled with the self help and the uh, self help and the short stories that will help you to understand situation much much better this book is applicable for the everyone i am not going to give you the spoilers i am not going to deep down and teach you whatever i learn exactly because you have to read this book you can understand much better when you read it by yourself talking about this book this book is applicable for everyone whether you are a student or whether you are a senior citizen you can understand that how your life has grown up or how you can understand like for the future how you can make it much better i mean if you want to get most out of this then there are the questions at the each of the chapter that will help you to understand if you answer this question then you will understand that what how you can maintain your daily life how you can be grateful in your daily life so if you want to know this question then buy this book there is a link in the description go buy this book and you will understand much better way so again i want to tell you that this book is not for the people who want to achieve goal who want to have success this book is for the people who want to have a happy life who want to have the satisfactory life so this is all for the today's video don't forget to check the quotes at the end of the video i i started putting the quotes at the end of this video so you can get the better idea how is how this book is and if you want to if you are new here do subscribe hit the bell icon and go follow me on the instagram and i will see you in the next video